join with him in opposing this amendment. Legal Services is funded at $375 million uh, this year. This budget cuts at $75 million to $300 million. That's a large cut. That, that's over 20 percent. It's been cut and cut and cut over the years. Nationally, 50 percent of all eligible potential clients are turned away from legal services because of lack of funding. And in my district in Memphis, they've lost $300,000 and the staff has been reduced from 50 to 38. When we travel overseas, one of the things that almost every individual you meet up with tells us about America is we envy your justice system. They envy our justice system because people have access to the courts to settle our differences. But if you're poor and uneducated, poor and or uneducated, and you don't have a lawyer, you don't have access really to the legal system. The other side will. If you're a domestic violence victim and you need an attorney and you don't have one, you're subject to further domestic violence. If you are a tenant in an apartment building and you're being read out, the apartment people are going to have attorneys and you won't and you'll be on the street. So we're talking about victims, domestic victims. We're talking about people who will be homeless. We're talking about individuals, American citizens, who won't have access to the courts. The envy of people around the world when they look at America and will be taken from them. I'd ask the gentleman to find monies for the FBI somewhere else. The FBI helps bring about justice. But to take it away from an area that gives poor people in America justice, even though it does give money to the FBI to find criminals and, and hopefully bring justice to them on the criminal sides important this is not the right place to take the money